<laughs> Must you complain so loudly, Master? There could be ruthless pirates or hungry wildlife all around us, hearing us, smelling us. You should watch out for cannibals, too. Apparently, that's actually a problem around here. Well, I think I'm safe on that account, at least. Hopefully. <laughs> Theron and Lana said you'd have a plan? You mean, we don't have to go charging in face first this time? We're staying in the ship? Oh, thank you, Master, thank you. Oh, yes. Please make sure it's clear that this was the work of the Red Holes. We need to keep up appearances, after all. Very well. Let's get started. It's like a war zone, Commodore. We're gonna lose everything if we don't airlift what's left to the slave camp. And we're not backing down just because some upstart crew thinks they got what it takes to break us. Buckle down, be a Nova Blade, and kill whoever's messing with us. But Commodore Markok... Go tell the Commodore and the rest of the Blades that the Red Hulls are in charge now. Heard stories about you. Drop Goro. Put a fright into that weasel Zykin. I took down a dozen contenders to get this post. I ain't even a little bit scared of you. I was hoping you'd pick that one. Theron, do you read me? The supply cache has been destroyed. Nice work. I believe one more assault on the Nova Blades holdings should be enough to solidify our pirate feud and disguise our true goal. One of the Blades mentioned a slave camp. Do you know anything about it? We do. You remember me saying that the Nova Blades basically run things around here? For the most part, they're pretty hands-off. But if someone stands up to them or fails to pay their fees to live here, the Blades grab them and ship them off to the slave camp. The slaves are a substantial part of the Nova Blades' income, both through their labor in hazardous mines and as merchandise for off-world slave traders. According to our information, the slaves are kept on a remote island under heavy guard. Do you think you can manage to free them? No one should have to suffer in slavery. I'll take care of it. Since we don't know the island's exact coordinates, your best bet is to stow away in one of the shipping containers the Nova Blades take out there. Once you reach the slave camp, you can catch them by surprise, break up the security, and free as many as possible. All in a day's work for a noble Jedi, yes? Carl, I have a pickup for you. C2D4 here. We have your coordinates and are on our way. Been mining Exonium for the Blades every day for two years. All to pay off a lousy three grand I owed. And I ain't the only one. You're free to do what you want now. Yeah. And we had a talk about that. Even in this place, we hear stuff. About your gang, the way you've been making life ugly for the Blades. We want to be a part of that. You want to work for me? Hey, we're good at a whole lot of stuff. Tell you what, get in touch with a pal of mine in Raiders Cove. Harlow Ricks. Check in with Ricks from time to time, tell him what you want us to do, and we'll do it. Simple as that. You get nice and close to Margok, you give him one for me, alright?
I got the slaves off of the island. We heard. Word of your raids is going around fast. Even the Revanites have heard about the Great Red Holes. We just intercepted this transmission from the Nova Blades headquarters. This is ridiculous! How am I supposed to hold up our part of the deal if you won't give us any backup when we're in trouble? Then perhaps we should seek other allies. I'm sure there are other crews on this planet who are capable of managing their own affairs. Hey, we've done our share. You wanted the shipping lanes raided, we raided them. You wanted stragglers picked off from the big battles, we did it! And your clumsiness cost us our Mandalorian allies. Torturing her crew of old fossils? We're better off without them! And I'm beginning to think we're better off without you. Deal with your own problems, if you want to prove otherwise. We have Revan and his followers fooled. We'd better move quickly. If they cut the Nova Blades out, there may not be any information left to recover. I agree. Speed is essential now. The Nova Blades are based out of an old crashed warship, the Aggressor. You've probably seen it off in the distance. You need to hit them hard. Make it look like the goal is to completely crush them, so nobody notices when we raid their computer cores for intel. Chikaro is refueling his ship as we speak. While you approach the Aggressor, you can use your target designator to call for his assistance, just like before. I'll contact you as soon as I reach the Aggressor. And then, we can finally get the answers we need. May the Force be with you. Good work. You really are insane. Coming after us here? Should have stuck with picking on tourists in the Outer Rim. You've sold your last slaves. The Nova Blades are finished. We'll see. The Nova Blades founded Raiders Cove. We've been here long before you, and we'll still be here long after. I can get the doors open, but it looks like the Nova Blades have their own slicers on staff, so I can't get any real data. I'll take care of them. Good luck. This is my ship. Think you could just walk on in and be left alive? I'm in. There are dozens of comm logs in here. Hundreds. Sent to people all over the galaxy. Coruscant, Droman Kaas, Corellia. The names are all encoded, but breaking through that is only a matter of time. I'm gonna get started right away. Great work. You should hurry back. Despite what we overheard earlier, the Revanites could show up at any moment to try and help their allies. Besides, I think we've earned a bit of a celebration. I'll be back in no time. Perfect. Welcome back. You've achieved more in your short time here than we ever thought possible. You should be proud. That's kind of you to say. Perhaps working together like this means there's hope for a more peaceful future. Perhaps so. I also said we should stop for decorations on the way. Now the party's terrible and it's our fault as much as theirs. Hey, slicing the Nova Blade files is slow going, but I've already found more references to this torch person that Margok and Revan were talking about. She definitely heads up a group of Mandalorians based here on Rishi. They were allied with the Revanites, but then broke ties. And not on good terms. If we can find Torch and get her talking, she might give us some good intel. Maybe even help us take the Revanites on. I've fought my share of Mandalorians. It would be nice to have some on our side for a change. Agreed. It looks like Torch and her crew control their own island not far from here. Think you could head over and see what she has to say? I'll contact you once I've found Torch. Let me know as soon as you pull anything else out of the Nova Blade files. You got it. Good luck. <laughs> Everything you just heard, it's important. Remember it. But it can wait a little while. There's something I want you to see. Who's there? Follow your feelings, and you'll find it. I grew up here, you know. And I mean here. This house, not just Rishi. Of course, I was young when the Jedi found me. Don't remember much more than the walls, a, a blanket and a few friendly faces. Master Orgas. But 
It seemed as good a place as any to visit one last time. Hello, Padawan. Got time for a final lesson from an old friend? It's good to see you, Master. Any lesson you have to share, you know I'll listen. Whether you'll act on it is something else, hmm? It's good to see you, too. Since you set out to defeat the Emperor, you've been fighting almost non-stop. You've been waist-deep in dirt and fear and blood. Since the Emperor's fall, the war has only gotten uglier. And there are dark times coming for the galaxy and for you. You've sensed what's to come? Just a little. And I'm worried you'll forget why you're fighting. Defending the Republic, vanquishing the Sith, those are tools a Jedi uses in the service of life, of people, not ends unto themselves. Every day I face pain. I inflict suffering out of necessity on those we call the enemy. It eats at you. That's the nature of war. I went through it too. I want to help you reconnect. We're going to take a little time, help the people of Rishi. Folks eking out a living good and bad, living in fear of guns and pirates. You're going to make their lives better, as only you can. You're going to feel why. You're a Jedi. Master Orgus, I have an urgent mission. I know what you're saying, but this isn't the time. Then when is? You can't go on like this. And I promise, we won't let the galaxy die because you were feeding a child. Very well. Where do we begin? There are a lot of people without homes on Rishi. Those people are catching Tamaman fever. On Corellia, they cured for free. Here, no one much cares. No one but you. Your doc can treat a person in minutes. You've got a ship packed with food and medicine. I understand. Yes, you do. No Sith Lords, no ancient evils this time. Just doing a bit of good. Master Orgus? You know, when I died, <laughs> strange to say that, it wasn't my victories that gave me comfort. It was all their faces, the people I'd helped, the people I'd served, made the pain forgettable. Suppose you last long enough to see the war end. How will you live? How will you find comfort when your time finally comes? You make it sound like the end of the Empire would put an end to conflict. There will always be pain. And there will always be struggle. I'll dance that dance forever. Where there's struggle, there's also hope. What we did today, I lied a bit. It wasn't just about helping Rishi or reminding you why you fight. It was about healing an old scar you've almost forgotten. One that still aches inside you. The Emperor. You were under his control. His darkness soaked through to your spirit. When we freed you, you pushed the memories of his training down deep. I can bring those memories back. You're strong enough to handle them. Let the light cure them and make you whole. I stood against the Emperor on Droman Kass. I don't fear him in my memories. Nor should you. Fear only leads to hate. Today on Rishi, you felt love. I am whole. Then it's my time to go. Thank you, Master Orgus, for all you've done for me. May it bring you peace. It already has. You won't see me again, Padawan, but you won't have to. You won't be alone in the dark days to come. The Force will be with you always. Approaching Torch's Island.
you're the one they call Torch. Shay Visla. That little nickname the locals came up with. Hell if I know why. You recently had a falling out with the Revenites and the Nova Blades. I could use your help. I'm sure you could, Jedi. Tell you what, instead of whatever grand gesture of cooperation you thought might happen here, why don't we try something a little different? Been a while since I had a decent challenge. I'm taking this opportunity to show my clan how it's done. I thought you could fight. Fighting starts. I thought you could fight. I'm taking you down. you down. since someone's given me a fight like that. You should be proud. You're telling me this was all just a fun little sparring match for you? Well, me, my clan, and our beasts. So I wouldn't call it little, really. Now then, I'd say you earned some answers. It was the Revenites you were asking about, right? We were the ones who hooked them up with the Nova Blades. Even helped them win a scrap or two. Once they started a secret, manipulating, all-out war nonsense, I pulled us out. I've had my fill of war. A Mandalorian who's tired of war? I thought fighting was your whole life. Fighting, yes. 
war. I guess it depends on who you ask. I think it's boring. You spend most of your time waiting around between battles, and when they finally happen, it's just a bunch of random killing. I prefer my fights sporting, or at least interesting. And the Revenites don't? Nope. They stack the deck as much as they can. I do know they've got a whole fleet of warships tucked away somewhere on this planet. Never gave me any real details or coordinates, but they're here. If you want to find them and smash them up, more power to you. I liked this place a lot better before they showed up. If you want to join the fight, you'd be welcome. I'll keep it in mind. Pretty sure I've got enough to do around here, though. Let's get you patched up, Vode. I've been going too easy on you!